Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to show you a technique that I came up with using polymer clay. So let's go get started. So these are some of the previous projects I've made with this technique. The original cane and then the other piece. Um, I've used a technique that we're, I'm going to show you today. And if you have the right size bezel, you can certainly just slice the cane and put it in there. But because I like to primarily use ovals, this is what works for me. So I'm going to use this Sculpey Bacon Bond and put in the bottom of each of my bezels. That will help when I put the clay in and bake it for it to adhere well. So here I'm slicing up part of the cane just randomly and I'm going to fill the bezel with just random shaped pieces. There's really no rhyme or reason to this and as long as you pinch them together as much as possible, try to get out all the lines, um, anything like that. Just be sure that you don't cut your slice too thick as I did for the little round bezel. As you'll see here, I did swap out the purple flower cane for this one. I do really like this one, especially with the tone of the antique bronze bezel. Um, it is one of my favorites and I just like how it turns out every time. Here I'm just pressing all the pieces into the bezel and trying to combine them with, so that there's no lines. I baked the clay at 275 for 15 minutes per the instructions. Here I've mixed up my epoxy and I'm using a little silicone brush to just spread it a very light coat over top of all the clay. You have to be very careful though that it doesn't flow over the sides. And on this particular one, because I was a little too thick on the top, it did end up going over the sides. This was just regular resin, so it did require 24 hours to cure. 